sorry about that, I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> so I've decided to go with a kind of canvas picture that I've kind of got as a print already, a narrow boat that's got some water dripping down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the canvas and actually just create quite a lot of different layers. It's not the easiest thing to do with watercolour on a canvas because it tends to, the watercolour doesn't tend to stay from, um, from layer to layer. But having said that, I'm going to see how it goes. I want to create this first bottom layer and I'm planning to do several other layers as well but I want it to dry and then I'm going to try to apply some fixative on it um, because I think that might be interesting and again if it doesn't work I just end up hanging it in my boat. <laughs> I don't want to go straight into the black because I think that doing a dripping painting on canvas, putting the black hull in is going to maybe um, really um, not work. So I'm going to redo the hull later. I don't want to make too many marks on the canvas because even though they're quite easy to blend out, I don't actually like don't like it to look too sketchy so you can just blend them away like that drips are still drying but I can get the color of this boat over here finished I'm gonna go for just for a basic green um, I'm not gonna do anything too fancy with it I was thinking I might, having said that, <laughs> that's my mixer. Um, I think I might do the base coat just in this green, just that one there. And then I might see kind of what happens to the next coat. But as you can see, when the paint goes on, you can kind of erase your earlier marks. I don't know why I'm holding this container. <laughs> 